Hey everyone, welcome back to your weekly briefing and here are the top five things you need to know to stay informed. Driving in Manhattan could now cost you $11.52 under a new proposal that would make New York City the first city in the United States where you have to pay to drive. Trucks would pay $25.34 and taxis would most likely raise prices by $2 to $5. If this proposal followed through, it could leave New York City's lower class citizens without a way to get across town, but given New York's vast population, most likely they wouldn't see a major population drop from this move. Now, for this week's news headline, Trump's medical exams leave many surprised and confused. President Trump's doctor said that his physical left the impression that he was a stable genius, unlike an unstable genius. The only advice the physician gave Trump was to lose weight and exercise more to avoid a possible heart attack. Better lay off those Trump steaks. The United States government shut down at 12.01 AM on Sunday. Now, I know what you're thinking. The government was even working in the first place? Well, as a matter of fact, it was. Sort of. Congress voted to end the government shutdown by passing a temporary spending bill which President Trump is expected to sign. This will postpone the fight over a politically charged immigration proposal for at least another three weeks. Parents in California are most likely going to be facing a life sentence in jail after being exposed of locking up and torturing their 13 children. One of their daughters, a teenage girl, escaped and immediately called the police to inform them of her other siblings who were still held captive. The parents' bail was set at $12 million each, but they will most likely be spending the rest of their lives in jail after 12 counts of torture, 7 counts of abuse on a dependent adult, and 6 counts of child abuse. New York City made a big statement about climate change by pulling out around $5 billion from city pension funds in companies with ties to fossil fuels. The mayor said, the city is standing up and saying we're going to take our own actions to protect our own people, as he wore a green tie and stood in front of a green sign that read, New York City leading the fight against climate change. By making this move, New York is saying they're not gonna follow in Trump's anti-climate change footsteps and good on the Big Apple. To close, on Saturday, women and men around the world gathered together for the second annual Women's March, and hopefully this is sending a strong message to Trump that no one plans to back down anytime soon. See you next week.